What in the hell are they doing to this Sprite? I had to sprint to come see. Now they done took the top off of it and called it a convertible. <laughs> I'm intrigued. And at the same time, I'm amazed. This better be bussin' or we go need. Finish that in the comment section. Y'all know what's up. This is about to be a dirty Shirley float. And I personally think that they wrong for calling Shirley the dirty one. Barbara the one that was calling that woman phone. Not only will we be reviewing this drink for the flavor, but we also need to touch on and review how temperature can affect the flavor profile of food. And that's due to how the molecules associated in whatever we're eating interacts with our taste buds. I'm supposed to have something called like a clean mouth can opener. The one I got is definitely a sailor mouth because this is about to be Jagged Edge in all of their song collection. Ooh, they shoot. Where I'm from, they be shooting. So I just got to make sure. To save money, I love to cut corners. No pun intended. Because look at them corners. Cut. Let's remove one third of this Sprite. That one third that I removed, I'm to replace it with two ounces of vodka, a half an ounce of grenadine, ice. This is when things are about to get wicked. My my man went on top with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. That's what gives a float. And you see we got Louis Vuitton. Vanilla bean all sheen. Look, cherry on top. Yeah, that's cute right there. Okay, that's giving. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. I think that this is great, but I think it would be even better if it was Charles instead of Barbara. Real strong, big back manly coat. Mix it in with that ice cream, and I feel like you could keep all the other ingredients the same. But this don't taste bad at all. Like, this is pretty good. I give it about like a 6.5 out of 10, and it's cute. So I'm up it to 7, and I feel it. And I love stuff with the texture. Did y'all see how we added ice inside of the Sprite? And then we added the ice cream on top of the Sprite, which was supposed to slowly melt, but I kind of missed mine up. The reason why we did that can be explained by tasting the difference between a cold cold drink and one that's been sitting in my car all day. Whew, oh yeah, it's hotter than wolf outside. The reason why the Dirty Shirley works so well is because of what's called thermal taste perception. The colder a drink is, it's the more it restricts your taste buds. And since your taste buds are restricted, it causes the carbonation to hit your taste buds hard because of the limited surface area. And that's why you get that light, crispy, refreshing McDonald's Sprite car battery type of taste. So yes, McDonald's secret is temperature, not recipe. Now warm Sprite on the other hand, this expands our taste receptors, making carbonation hit soft. And that's when you get that sluggish, syrupy, thick type of feeling. Coldness also affects sweetness perception. The colder something is, the less sweetness your taste receptors are able to perceive. The point of the ice cream being on top of the Sprite is so that it can melt slowly, causing a gradual temperature change. As the ice cream melts and the temperature of the Sprite changes, you're actually experiencing a gradual taste increase that if you experienced all at once, this could possibly be overwhelming. But in conclusion, I give the Dirty Shirley a solid seven out of 10. I bet you any kind of money, Barbara. Barbara, if she was dirty, she would have been a 10 because Barbara answered that phone.